Hello guys, Lee Power back here and today back with another video on Minecraft. In this video, I will be showing you how to build a a working sliding glass door. As you can see, if I press this outside button, it opens up. If I press this inside button, it also opens up. So, but I mean the redstone is kind of complex, but it's hand it's manageable. So, so, so now I'm going to show you guys. So what you want to do is you want to find where you're going to make it. So I'm going to make mine about right about here. I put two sticky pistons facing into each other like this with two glass blocks on their in front of them. And leave a two block gap in between them. So then what you want to do is you want to build a little frame around the glass blocks like this as you can see and then you can place a roof above them like that like you can see here on the example. Then what you want to do as you can see like over here on the example you want to place some blocks here and here so you can put a button there and you just want to do pretty much the exact same thing on this side so you want to place three blocks there and three blocks there with a the button on this side so you want to have this kind of shape so you want to have almost like an RA and on the top face of the RA you want to have two buttons like that you know where the pistons are so then what you want to do after that uh, is you want to have a redstone torch coming out of that block, so as you can see, if I press the button, it gets inverted. Then, what you want to do is also like here on the example, this block doesn't even need to be here. So, you're going to do is trying to get yourself four blocks of your choice and place them as you can see. So, you can see that's already one, that's already half of the door already done. So, what you want to do after that, uh, it is like you can see over here on the example. Is actually very simple to do. So you just want to place a block up here at an angle and have that leading up like that. Like you can see over there. So you don't have a stone going across like that and all the way down to. As you can see, it already does the top just and what you want to do is you want to have it. So it extends both of them. So as you can see, if I click this button, both come open and both go shut. That's only really basically the main. That's basically so. That's one half of the door done. So now what you want to do is you just want to just you just want to wire up the inside button. So what you want to do is so where the inside button is, you want to place yourself four blocks like this, but have the fourth one going up a bit. And then we want to place redstone dust on all of them blocks like that. Then you place another block here to stop them touching. Then what you want to do is you want to place an any old block here and have that leading up. Then you want to place another another block here, but another or you want to place another block there as this register doesn't interfere. Then as you can see like here on the example. Yeah. So then what you want to do after that up is you want to have the wrist and leading down but you also want to place a block here so it doesn't interfere then all literally all you have to do is just make it so this redstone goes straight onto that block and you're pretty much done so as you can see if i press the button here it opens so i can walk through and if i press this other button it opens as well so i can walk through <clears throat> well yeah uh, that's pretty much uh, the door done you're done so all you, so all you have really have to do now is just Clean up the area, obviously, so it doesn't look ugly. As you can see, what I'm doing now, I'm just cleaning up the area. So now, from either side, yes, if I look, so from either side, you can't see any of the redstone. But yeah, that's pretty much. The door is on, so because if I click this button, it opens, so I can walk through. And if I click the inside button, it opens again, so I can walk through. Excuse me, guys. 
<clears throat> but yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I told you, it looks kind of complicated. But, it's all relatively easy. But yeah guys, so that's just how to build a working sliding glass door. But yeah guys, so that'll pretty much wrap it up for today's video. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on because the little bell icon so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. But until then, guys, stay happy, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace out.